So we need to be very, very discerning in how this country is being attacked because it is to do with manipulating your minds and it doesn't have to be common purpose that is doing it, it is now being pushed through all sorts of courses. So the next time you read something, go back to it, revisit it, and see if you can find some other meanings. There was a new poster that came up following this one, and I tried to get a picture, but unfortunately couldn't, couldn't get it downloaded. But there's plenty of hoardings. Some of you might have seen one against the smokers, and it showed a picture of a side of a bus stop surrounded by dog ends. And then it said, are you a dirty chucker? Now you're laughing, but the meaning is vicious because what's happening is that smokers are being made outlaws. When you see smokers, and I don't smoke, but when you see them huddled in the cold by a doorway, they are being made non-people. And this is very dangerous, and it was done by the Nazis. They started the initial no-smoking programs. So what you are seeing, be very careful of. That's a blank slide there. Now, what's happening around the country? We can go quickly. Has anybody got any problems that we're in a police state at the moment? Does anybody still think we're in a democracy? Okay, so we can go through this quite quickly, but we've got the cameras. I've shown this to several people, but up here, this is a policeman with a CCTV camera strapped to his head. They trialled this in Devonport in Plymouth. So you bump in, well, preferably don't bump into him, you meet this man on the street and he's filming you. You are a criminal. We've talked about this. This was a Christian centre, the cross has gone and a wavy line is there. And I say quite calmly, that's a serpent. You might not believe it. And I saw lots of these coming up actually, and I've seen quite a few round here. This is a pub, a derelict pub. They're all closing. And the reason the pubs are closing is not to look after your livers, but because pubs are places that people go and talk to each other and swap information. And the government doesn't want that. The government doesn't want that, so it lies to you. It says it's very concerned about teenage boozing. So the supermarkets start to sell it dirt cheap. Your publican can't afford to buy in his beer. So a community, a centre of community is closed down. Are we happy with that one over there? Fingerprinting. It's being done. There are schools now where the children were fingerprinted in order to get their school dinners. They make it a game for the children. It's very serious because the children are then going on a database and we know that schools are starting to teach children about eugenics. Do you know that? They're running dance and drama classes on the theme of eugenics. Eugenics is selective breeding and now it's being introduced to children. One of the themes is, how would you feel sitting next to a clone? So when you start to see these experimentation things relaxed, and you see a mouse with an ear on its back, has anybody seen that picture? This is not a game, it is very serious. And I hate this, because I'm always the person that takes you right down to the depths. But we've got to go down to the depths before the end of the day, but I promise to bring you back up again. So fingerprints. Guantanamo Bay. Now what's the President of the United States called? Because I just can't remember. <laughs> yeah, what did Mr Obama say? Did he say he was going to close the camp? Did he? Or did he say... I think he said it was his intention to close it. So when he doesn't, presumably he's got a let out clause. But the BBC is interesting because they say some people think waterboarding is torture. Do you all know what waterboarding is? Torture. It's torture, isn't it? But the BBC, they're obviously a little uncertain because that's what I heard on the news the other night. Some people think it's torture. Not it is torture. Well, Mr Blair and Mr Brown 
aided and abetted by Mr. Cameron and Mr. Clegg, have sent people to that camp to be tortured. And as I say, we should be ashamed of ourselves. We've got problems with youth on the street. It's created problem. It's created. We've got churches being demolished. We've got homes being repossessed. We've got brutal police appearing. Now, if I understand it correctly, we have some police officers in the hall, and thank you very much for coming along. But we have some questions about your training. I have some questions about them, which we'll come on to later because I believe the police are being put through training, which is neuro-linguistic programming, which is making them unsure about how to police, and that could make some of them very dangerous. What about this one? This has got us running around silly at the moment, isn't it? Recycling, is the rubbish in the right bin? Is the bin in the right position? Have we put it out on the right day of the week, but it's changing next week? My wife goes loopy with this, and she's supposed to, because that's what it's there for. It's distraction, it's breaking you down, it's making you frustrated. And this is all coming from the government. Has something else popped up there? Oh, we've got a mast here. Tetra. They're springing up all over the place, but nobody wants to tell us what they're there for. Young lady unconscious through drink. See a few of those around. Fishing fleet destroyed. I think we're just about there. So basically, if I can move on. Oh dear, what's that? <laughs> it's emerging, isn't it? It's a beast emerging through some very foggy situations in society. But no matter what we do, we go and join our little political party, but the beast still seems to keep coming. And the reason the beast keeps coming is because we are not seeing it in the right form. The threat is not the European Union over there, it is what is happening as a result of the European Union in this country. Do you know what this one is? If you read the paper, you will do. This is £350,000 worth of artwork at the Buntsfield Oil Depot. Do you remember where there was the big fire? And they've now put up a, an artwork to celebrate the gateway to the business park. I believe this is satanic. I'm not going to go into detail, but this is somebody mocking destruction. They're taking the mickey out of you. And they're certainly taking the mickey out of you if you have been kind enough, we have been kind enough to pay £350,000 of our taxes for it. Child stealing by the state. When I started a newspaper, with a lot of help from you and other people, I thought we were going to be talking about politics. And then I got calls and we got information about fraud and corruption and missing money. Not about a few thousand pounds, but millions of pounds. And the stories, they had a template. It didn't matter whether it was Plymouth or Sheffield or Leeds or Bristol or Birmingham or Manchester or Glasgow. It was the same undercurrent of a cartel of criminal activity. And what we learnt very quickly was all three of the major parties were deeply involved. And then when we thought, well, that can't get much worse, we started to get stories about children. And we got phone calls, usually from ladies, but not always. And they told us incredible stories about their children being taken away from them. A row with a neighbour, then the social services called, then the next minute they were saying that I was doing something. One lady, a French lady, found that the husband was abusing the two young girls, one six, one nine. She tried to do something to stop what was happening inside the home, but she couldn't, so eventually she went to social services. Social services were therefore involved. 
She went through the process. She had a solicitor. And then she said, it was as though my solicitor was talking to social services behind my back. And then it was as though I was the victim. I was doing something. And then they wanted to take my daughter away. And then they said, well, you need a psychiatric assessment because you're very stressed. And if you have that assessment done, then don't worry because we can fix it all and make it better and you can see your child. So she had the assessment and, oh dear, she's got a problem. We think that to see your child, you probably need to go on Prozac. And she said, I was in a nightmare. Everyone I went to, they were in on it. Social services, the local authority, the police, my barrister. 